Hello everyone, Neonstar here, and I almost went to jail when I was seven years old. Kind of. It's a bit complicated. When I was six years old, I was transferred from one first grade class to another because my teacher really didn't like me. I made a video about first grade up here. I ended up being moved to a teacher that my sister had when she was in elementary school. I call this teacher Miss B, and she was mean. She'd make fun of me in front of the whole class almost daily, and I spent too many days crying under my desk. And when we went to second grade, I ended up getting her again, and it sucked. I met a lot of kids that first grade year, but the most relevant one to this story is Eric. Eric was really into engineering and demolition. I thought he was cool and ended up having a crush on him in second grade, I think. I'm still not sure if I actually had a crush on him, or if I just wanted to be close to him and thought that boys and girls could only be close if we were dating. I don't know. Since he was into destroying stuff, when I wanted to ask him out, I wrote a letter asking if one night we could just destroy the school. Like in my head I imagined going to the school in the middle of the night and demolishing it with bulldozers or something. It was super unrealistic, but I thought I was the height of charming, the god of flirting. Anyway, I ended up forgetting about that letter, until I believe a month or two later when Eric's mom found it, and she freaked out. I was called to the office with my parents, they showed them the letter, and told us that I was being investigated for a bomb threat. Yeah, you heard me right, a bomb threat for this stupid love letter. Now this happened like 13 years ago, so I don't remember much of the details. I asked my dad about it, but he only remembers the one meeting. But I can tell you though that there was more than one meeting. They grilled me for weeks about the damn letter, like I was in any way a threat. It probably didn't help that I was so terrified that I was in trouble that I kept changing my story. Like that someone had forced me to write it, or that I wrote it in the dark so I didn't know what I was writing. I kept misspelling school and destroy in class, but I spelled them right in the note, so I used that as evidence for my excuses. But they were interrogating me like I killed someone. I swear I remember being asked questions by the police, too. To highlight how ridiculous the whole situation was, I was seven years old. And I was a short seven-year-old. A seven-year-old who barely did my homework and had no internet access. How the fuck did they think I was capable of building a bomb? I was so stressed out that year already because of Miss B, and then they just dropped this on me. My dad says it's just because the administration had it out for me. I wasn't allowed to hang out with Eric anymore, which made me cry the first day it happened. But afterwards, I was so mad about this whole thing that I stopped talking to him entirely. His mom would glare at me every time she saw me, too. I can't believe she really thought I was some kind of menace. Like, if you read a letter from a seven-year-old that said, Hey, let's destroy the school, love Melody! Would you get the administration and the police involved? Luckily, this whole thing didn't affect me later on. My parents just kept telling them, Look, she's a little girl, she doesn't know how to make a bomb and the whole thing was eventually dropped. All those adults who grilled me still hated me for the rest of elementary school, though, because it's totally healthy to have beef with a little girl. I was so glad to leave that school, even if middle school wasn't much better. If you like this video, you might like my school stories videos. I have a whole playlist and even a mega compilation for your convenience. Stay safe, everyone! Bye!